I think I've been feeling guilty because everyone's like, oh my God, you're going back to Broadway. It's so great. Oh my God, you should be, you're so grateful. Oh my God. Ah. And I'm like, yes, but also it's a job. Like Broadway is a job. You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity, but also I can still be a little bit sad about how it's packaged. <laughs> quick little recap um and uh this weekend andrea said we couldn't have any of her bangs so that leads me to believe that it's pretty decent so hopefully by the time i get done we'll um we'll have some more energy we'll look alive till then i'll be wearing my story time shades so mm. overview Weekend was fantabulous. SWV was in the building, heavy. It was another beautiful moment to share with my sisters. Uh, I got in on... I got in on Thursday at 11.30. Somehow I lost my headphones. I need to really stop wearing in-ear headphones on the plane I need to wear either in-ears with the what's the thing called in-ears that are not wireless or over the ears apparently I haven't learned my lesson I don't think it's in one of my bags but we'll see so I lost those at some point didn't even know I grabbed the car got back to got to the Airbnb Vancouver Pro is not in Vancouver but I'm so we were actually an hour away from Vancouver in Abbotsford. I'm thinking it's close, so that's why I got an early flight home, because it's like, oh, I could just take an Uber. So as you probably saw, Shantae and Andrea had crazy travel days. So I ended up driving back to the airport to pick up Shantae. Uh, I was extremely exhausted and I, don't really drive that much anymore like the probably the longest I drive is about 30 35 minutes so I was on the struggle bus but anything from a girl so we linked up got food drinks the whole bit that's where it all started for my digestive system for sure um, she had went to Walmart in the morning then we hit the gym all our gym sessions were great cardio that I probably wouldn't have done if she wasn't there and you know a good shoulder session with her is going to be buck wild so I loved it and I was like I need to feel like this every time I leave the gym on shoulder day um, and then we went to support Andrea and Ruben Ruben getting his uh, Olympia qualification and the woman that was with the other guy like she was giving full dissertations I think in like Italian I don't know what she was saying so I had to keep being louder to make sure Ruben heard me you know do you know how I do so we were ready we were in the building and I've realized I told y'all I get anxiety at shows I realized I'm okay when it's in like a theater I guess because that's one of my happy places but when it's in the hotel conference room throw the show the show promoters and the stage throw it all away so I was actually good um Lordy, did I just go the wrong way no okay so then between shows we rested we watched 20 somethings on Netflix completely binged at least the first season I don't know how many seasons there are 12 episodes cute fun light something to play in the background when you need a bit of a break from all the vlogs uh, podcast 
And then we hit finals, came back home, rested, waited for them for dinner. Ate everything under the sun at dinner. And I knew I should not have done that, but I was like, it's all right, tomorrow we'll get back to it. I was telling Shantae I kept backsliding in our videos. That's not my style. But baby, I woke up, I went to sleep at 12. I had to be up at 3. I woke up at 12.30 and was in and out that bathroom till 3. And once again, I learned my lesson that yes, indeed, I am still lactose intolerant. I try to play myself, so I got played. For sure. So then, I drove us to the airport. Shantae didn't have to be there for till one, but she was gracious enough to go with me. Mr. Already, we had a great time. Oh my God, something funny that I've been waiting to leave here because I didn't want to tell her <laughs> and freak her out. So now she'll be seeing this at the same time as y'all. So at the Airbnb, we, um, we needed more trash bags. So we asked them, could y'all bring a trash bag down uh, while we're gone? Or would you mind picking up the trash too? We'll leave it inside the door. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you left it inside the door because some people that have stayed in the past have left it outside the door and bears have come. <laughs> I said, let me not even get Shate worked up about Yogi Bear possibly coming through looking for the pick and hey, boo boo. Is there Shante in the room? I'm looking for a picnic basket. So I never told her that, but I thought it was kind of funny. Unless she read it on the Airbnb thing. But she ain't say that, so I don't think so. But we weren't going to bring in any um, animals to the conversation. But anyway, um, I got in my first class seat. And I put the ass to get the ass. I was living my best life. Yes, I need the whole meal. Yes, give me the warm towels. Yes, give me the water in a glass. Yes, get me off the plane first, on the plane first, priority, um, suitcase, everything. G give me it all, because that's what I deserve. And I was making a post that was just like, oh, I put it in my story. It's like, let's normalize this. Let's stop calling everything. We secretly think we don't deserve a luxury. Or we're constantly pushing for the deal. Sometimes the deal bites you in the ass. Sometimes you just need to treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. And I stayed up. So I was proud of me because I was like, I'm going to get my buddy work. <sighs> but that causes me now to be exhausted. So where I'm heading right now, 7 minutes and 21 seconds later, one of my clients, so I do mostly voiceover coaching, but I do have a few clients that I do musical theater coaching for um, and small business coaching. And so one of them is turning their class into a course and they, um, Adam's filming it at a peer space and they want me to be there just for direction and make sure I'm understanding what, uh, that what they're trying to say is clear. So I hate it that it's today. Like I could literally just, and I had to leave Pepper for like three and a half hours. So I'm already sad about that. But I, I just want to go to bed right now. So hopefully this bang does something I didn't drink enough. But just wanted to catch y'all up. I think I might actually close out the vlog today. I need to do my comment corner. Um, for two videos, so I'll try to wrap that up quickly. Um, woo, but yeah, this weekend was everything. Some people mentioned wanting S, uh, to buy SWV shirts, so we're doing a poll. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Uh, maybe that's something we'll do in the future. And for those that are like, I ain't a part of the vlog squad, you can be. Go ahead and pick up that camera. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Um, Welcome our guest. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hi, darling. Sponsor Jay Glass. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. It's okay. She she took first class. So she was filming she herself a little class. bit. She sure did. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Whew. Um, videography job with Big Gun. Whooped. 
What? Oof. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Like I need to adult, but I don't I don't think I'm going to. It's like a headache just from lack of sleep. So I think I'm going to I just need to lay down. I think that's it. So I'm going to put my food away. Maybe I can whip something up real quick and then put my food away. And um, take a nap. I just don't foresee the rest of this night turning into anything unless I go to bed. So I'll say that now, but let's see what happens. All right, y'all, my new glasses. Well, they've been in, but I had my neighbors grab them because um, I don't trust people not just coming through. It was there. it would have been there for like four days. I was like, nah, bro, we're not taking no chances. So I wanted to do an unboxing with you all. Okay. I should have started the unboxing. Do the ones that I have way too many of these other boxes. I'm not rid of them. Okay, let's start with the ones we already have. <sighs> you just, oh, I mean, they just. I wonder if I can give these. I mean, I guess I can always keep them just in case, but. Maybe at some point I'll give them to like, I don't know, maybe they can use the frames or something. Loving them. I don't know why I put the old ones in here instead of putting the new ones in here. Oops, tape. Okay. So cute. It says, nice to see you. I see what you did there. We love a little play on words. All right, this one I'm a little sketchy about because honestly they were a little big. But they were so cute and I wanted some transitions. Oh, they're so cute. Oh yes. They feel like like look from the side, you see that kind of like 3D feel. And I can I don't know, they kind of feel like uh like I'm a car and these are like the windows in the front. And I can like see I don't know. I'm into them. And then I can wear them when I get in the car. And, oh, oh. Also, I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair next. I think I'm going to take it out next week and then um, let it breathe for two weeks. I need to get it done before I leave because I work literally the day after I land and I'm going to see a show that night that I land. And I need to do grocery shopping, just the whole bit. So. Two out of two. I'm happy. Good morning, YouTube. Burr, burr, burr. Today is Tuesday, July 16th. I don't know why that seems weird and not correct, but I think it is. So these glasses are supposed to turn into transitional, so. I'm waiting. Um, apparently, I was up all night. We're in a TMI right at the top. Apparently, I was up snoring and farting all night. A tisket, a tasket. <sighs> so, Operation D fluff in full effect. We're going to try to get back down to 106, 107s by Monday. I'm supposed to check in tomorrow, but he's just going to get an update email saying that I, I need a few more days to uh, pull it together so right now I could have done cardio downstairs but we need all the heart rate we can get so I'm going to go to the gym um, right now I'm about to drop some clothes off in this uh, clothing bin one second okay cute I see you okay I see you now girl cute all right um the, I say the good thing though I mean, I don't like feeling like this by any means, 
but if I wasn't feeling ugh, that would probably mean this weight is here to stay. And we don't want that, so. <sighs> A lot of cleansing today. But yeah, no clients, just some meetings with people. I need to figure out why we still don't have a dryer after two weeks. And um, adulting, finding insurance, all the things. All right, let's get into it. The whole cardio crew is in the building. Good morning. Oh, Look alive, people. Look alive for the YouTube vlog. Look alive. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. All right, y'all. That's the 35 minutes. I was going to do the 40, but my left knee bothered me a little bit. And we ain't about to push past that pain. Mm -mm. Not when we have legs later. So I'm gonna head down to Target, grab some stuff, head to Ralph's, grab some stuff. <sighs> and then hopefully have, hopefully have enough time to take Pepper out before my new Been trying to get him to wear shorts for seven years. Look at God. All right, y'all, workout done. Paid the Piper an extra seven minutes and 30 seconds of cardio. There's Bay over there. Y'all haven't seen him in an episode or two. Somebody's been traveling the world. World traveler. <sighs> How was your trip? Tell them what you did. It was cool, I guess. Went to Japan. Yeah. Well, it was alright, but it's a little annoying because I have ADHD and I have ADHD pills. But for some reason in Japan, it's like. Like my face it makes it look like this. Anyway, um damn, yes. I mean you are leaning sideways. I know like, it's, like, <laughs> it's so weird. I'm leaning uh, like this. Why isn't my uh, face still cocked like, like this? Shit. I'm like, I'm trying to be still, uh, like the way already already small, heavy this face kinda like the way anatomy is set I know. Up. Anyway, I'm too vain. <laughs> You're asking a lot from your neck. <laughs> I know. Anyway, like I was saying before I interpreted myself, uh yeah, I have ADHD and like for some reason for some reason, those pills are illegal in Japan, so I couldn't bring them. Um, because of that, the trip wasn't as good as it could be because I was in my feelings. But did you have them last time? No, but because last time we just did the big um, scenic monk hike, so like I just tipped that bunch of coffees and walked to the mountains. And it wasn't the summertime because summertime in Japan is like 89 to 95 plus like 100% humidity, which is fucking death. Like, literally, I was, I'm used to, you know, LA heat. I was like, all right, you know, I get mine. I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm cool. Oops. Ah, humidity. I've been to Florida a bit. That shit was fucking me up. Like, you can't sweat. So it's just your body sticky. I got. A heat rash, got heat rash. I literally like here, oh my god, here. Oh my god, type shit. <laughs> like it was. Like I love Japan, but I was like, what the fuck? I never been in some before. I was like, what the. So fuck? does that mean you were a pain to be around? Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. Like your I'm mom's probably not gonna take you again. No, she'll take you again, probably. But like, I'll definitely bring my pills in, cause I'm like, mom. I'm like, she kept saying you could get arrested and thrown in jail. I was like, they're not gonna. Can you throw imagine. Adam in Japanese jail. I know, I don't even speak Japanese. But I, it was like, I was gonna bring nine pills. So like, if I'm going in with nine pills, right? And then they're like, these are illegal. I'd be like, trash can, boom. You would think that's even mom, cause she's not, she, I love her death, but she, I think she worries a little bit too much. Cause she's like, I don't want you to go to jail. And I was like, I'm not going to jail. And then she like did more research. She's like, you're going to go to jail. I was like, fuck. Is that why you won't take steroids? I mean, I'm pussy too. I'm pussy. Like, I'm like. But you feel like your mom would know and then she'd be. Well, I feel like I'd, ha I'd have She'd send you an um, uh, email every day of somebody who died. Probably. Well, no, like, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I just wouldn't because I don't want to die. My life's not perfect, but at least I'm alive, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just. I feel like they'd work great for me because I'm me, but I'm, I'm just too. Like, it's not worth changing my whole life. And like, I mean, messing you up. Die. You're not doing open. Like, no, you're just but doing not I, just I for, know. Any, for any physiquers out there watching. I'm not trying to, but I'm saying. But yeah, it wouldn't be enough to fuck me up, but it'd be enough. Like, I you already just got. just would know. Well, plus, I already, I've seen the symptoms. Like, I already have anxiety, 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 anxiety a little bit. And like, 
already in my head so if i took some it like if, it might let's put it this it. way when i was doing the bodybuilding and i wasn't on steroids and i was cutting i think i really kind of tested i was a little moody but then let's say we add oh my god let's say we add he's some, not even cutting right now and he's moody he's been pretty good though i feel like i've been, You've been right? good. i know he was but, in his feelings yesterday though but it's because i made him feel bad Oh yeah, no, okay, let's reiterate on that. So when I'm in Japan, normally I get a little gifts and stuff like that. Oh, actually, before you do that, I went through our text messages. You did not say, do I want anything? No, so. no, I was calling, I was calling you. Go I ahead. went on the phone, on the phone, I didn't text it. Or I marked like, like, a Marco I text you. And stuff. Anyway, I kept didn't. asking, I said, do you want anything, do you want anything, do you want anything? She's like, I want to design a bag, I want to design a bag. I want Louie, I want blah, blah, I'm like, all right. Well, I kept looking, I couldn't find anything. I'm like, do you want anything? And we say, do you want anything? Now it's more like anything. Yeah, but you just he always gets me a notebook or a little pen yeah you know, I, I feel like those go without saying because he just always but you should have said always gets them said. so then i'm like i didn't hear like, anything because like i'm used to getting her stuff i feel like she didn't use it so i was like well i feel like he's totally making that i'm up not making because up. Ooh, you, just you haven't been able to name anything that i don't use it was four years ago since I, I went to Japan. Everything you've ever anyway, given. Anyway, let's put this. I was already in my feelings because of my pills, mm -hmm. and then it was hot, and then there was like, okay, in Japan, like this foreigners, but not foreigner. It's you weird. know, like I think I was, the only thing that was weird though is it wasn't too hot to get all that camera stuff. Well, suddenly it was cool. It's work. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday. July 18th. I don't remember. I actually don't remember the last time I recorded, which normally I do, or at least I know it's in the same day, but can I keep it a buck with y'all? I have not wanted to record at all. I put out a lot of videos in the last week and a half and the adrenaline was going and it was great. But sometimes this is exhausting. Not, okay, is she crying? What's she doing? Okay, I'm just gonna go. She's gonna wait. I'm tap. It's exhausting. And I can see now why Andrea was like, I'm going down to one video. Like, I love doing it. It's not like I'm putting on some character, or like editing takes forever, but time and energy can only be divided it can't be multiplied and we got back from girlcation and i just have not been like, keep my eyes open i just have not been able to bounce back it normally doesn't take me this long to bounce back from any kind of trip especially a weekend go ahead and give me a energy drink because i need it um oh gosh 7-eleven is popping today anyway yeah I have not been in the mood to y'all wouldn't know the difference but I literally had nothing to lift my camera up for and that's okay like a ponytail never do it because you feel forced never do anything because you feel forced or because you think people are relying on you you think people are waiting on you like the world will still go on without my vlog I'm well aware um, so yeah, we'll see when I hop back on, but anywho, I'm heading to the chiropractor now. I got like a four session package to work with him until I leave, which is in three weeks. So I might also intentionally take off. I may record, but not edit the week before I leave so that I can be really present with my family and friends out here. So I'm starting to feel uneasy as I get closer to the leaving date. Thank you. All right, y'all. Cairo and cardio done. Um, I owe y'all an apology. Y'all did not ask for all that attitude. I didn't even have to go back and watch. I already know I had an attitude. Now. I am a little tired of recording, I'm not gonna lie. More so, maybe it's the editing, I don't know. Either way, it just felt like a lot. I think because I did, I split the New York trip 
into two different trips and then I dropped those two and then I wanted to do I love when SWV posts together so I dropped one yes like I was doing too much I put the pressure on myself so I really was annoyed with me not y'all now granted I meant what I said that I probably won't record as much but I think part of my attitude is I'm just mad at myself um, which is okay you can have grace and still feel some sort of way about yourself um, this last week I had a great time but I don't always need to associate food and drinks with a good time I can have a good time with water I can have a good time and I did with salads but the way I was balls deep in the apple pie it don't make no sense and I you have to know thyself to thy own self be true I am zero to a hundred when it comes to food like there is no I'm just gonna take a piece of the apple pie and put it in the fridge granted that may happen but I'm gonna open that fridge up at least 20 minutes later and finish it like I cannot control myself and so I'm just a little disappointed I'm gonna be honest about that and that's probably why I don't want to say anything because I know I look fine but I don't feel fine. I feel very out of body right now. My stomach has not stopped hurting since I touched down in Vancouver. <laughs> like, I have been in pain. I have been absurdly, is that a word? Absurdly gassy. Not a little poop, Ooh, excuse me. Like blow up the room for the next five minutes. Like stain the sheets in stench kind of like and it's not cute so i'm annoyed with myself and that's okay hopefully by the time you watch this i would have pulled my together and i won't be upset with myself but until then i told my coach on instagram i was like i'm not checking in like i'm not even going to disrespect your time with my foolishness like what are you gonna tell me let's do another week of what I actually gave you I can tell myself that I'll save you the two-minute loom video anyway so I told SWV this morning I will be messaging every and anything that I eat today I'm going to even though I have the sheets Apparently eating the sheet is not something Aurelia's been doing. She has not been living in her excellence. I'm going to put it into my macro counter. Every single thing. Until we're back at least in the 107s. Now let's be honest. I need to put on weight. I know that. My body, what? My body wants to sit at 130. Smoking a cigar. Being fed grapes by big buff men fanning me with large leaves but we're not doing that I've decided we're not doing that but apparently the choices I've been making do not support that so I apologize y'all maybe that'll be the name of my episode I owe y'all an apology because that was ugly I hope y'all 2x that moment because it was not cute for anybody All right. ladies and gentlemen Adam is suffering severely from something I imagine can feel a bit like what we experience once a month. Poor guy. So what happened? Has anybody else experienced this? You on the ab crunch machine or any of those kind of like crunch things that have weight? Oh, it's real bad. So one thing about Adam, unlike his counterpart, is he does not complain. He'll suffer through pretty much anything. So, if he's laid out like this, it's bad. So, I finished my workout and I text him and I said, I'm done. He said, okay. And I start walking over and I'm like, he must be sitting at that machine contemplating life. Maybe something's on his mind because he's, he's not doing the crunch, but he's also not getting up. So, I'm not sure. Maybe he's just waiting for me to come by. And at first we thought it was just like a little spasm because he says he's felt it before, but he's still feeling it right now. So I'm thinking he may have strained a muscle in his abdominal 
nails. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out the regimen. Get him home, get him laid down as he is right now. I mean, you know it's bad because he's not even contracting right now. He's just sitting there. I forgot to tell that entire story without these on. I'm so sorry. So yeah, not exactly sure what we can do for him, but maybe with some Tylenol or something. I think Tylenol does is for muscle cramps as well. So get him some Tylenol, lots of water. Today is Friday the 19th. It is exam near two o'clock. Good afternoon. I don't know what's happening up top here. Uh, this morning we were at 109.6. Today is a low day, so that's why I had to get my arse out the house so that I don't eat everything in sight. And um, I'm on my way to get my eyebrows microbladed, so between clients I did 15 okay Mr. make up your mind where you where you want to go uh, between clients I did 15 minutes is it 15 I did 15 minutes with one uh -huh, I think I got it anyway I did 15 minutes after one client and 10 minutes right now after another client so just getting her done maybe I did more than that no no 15, 25 um, you're not supposed to sweat after or like do any type of cardio or lifting, but y'all already know that's not gonna happen. So I'll do the best I can or whatever. Wait, which way am I turning? I need to go that way. Oh shit, I don't know where I'm going. Hold on. Okay, I needed to make a left or a right, and I could not remember which way because I only been to her place once. But this is a woman. If you've been following the vlog that I went to weeks before my show and we haven't done a touch up because there hasn't been a time where I didn't do need to do a bunch of cardio. So now that we're down to basically 40 minutes, give or take four or five times a week, um, now is the time. Uh, today I'm feeling a bit of anxiousness, um, unsettled. I can't put my finger on why, but I think it's just a mix of things. The upcoming travels for work, which like normally I get anxious about that because I'm like, crap, I got to remember all the choreo we did. I got to remember this, I got to remember that, but we're starting from scratch. So it's not that. Um, maybe I'm worried about Adam and I during that time. I don't know. But I did buy our tickets this morning to Barbados. We already had our um, resort, but now we'll, now we have the, uh, I don't know where I'm parking. Why am I acting like I know where I'm going? I'm talking to you like I really know where I'm going. I think I have to make a U-turn. Uh, but we got our flights now, and it was $300 cheaper than what I looked at last night. So won't he do it? Yes, he will. But yeah, trying to get my heart posture right, trying to get my attitude right. Hence, well, to y'all, it makes no difference. But I haven't been recording as much because y'all don't need all that. Okay, y'all. So I bought Adam this whole new set of knives. And he went ahead and bought some new knives from Japan. So I'm gonna see what the hoopla's about. Is it really gonna do what I needed to do? Let's see. Okay. It's kinda cute or whatever. I mean, it's okay for what it was, but it's not what it, I mean. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. It is July 20th. I just woke up this morning, I was like, really, yeah. cut the sh pull it together. I have still been eating outside of my excellence and it just needs to stop. I'm self-sabotaging and it just needs to stop. I'm stressed, I'm anxious, 
and I'm picking very poor coping methods and I just need to stop. There's just no other way around it. So I do some prayer outside right now while I walk Pepper, ask for divine intervention and strength beyond my own and pull it together. So I can be as fabulous as these eyebrows. Hey y'all, hey. We are off to the gym. I've got on my new shades that Shantae gave me. Furla. She was like, I knew they was gonna look good on you. I knew you was gonna want them. I'm like, you know me, girl. You know me. Y'all spoil me. <laughs> Um, I don't have story time, but I did have my pre-workout meal, and it was the meal I was supposed to have, and, you know, I was looking at my body today, and I was like, you're actually looking kind of good now that the water and the bloating and all that is coming down, I'm like, this might actually be where the body wants to be, so if you can keep it together and stay here for a few days so we can see if this is for real, real, or for fake, fake. So you can finally check in, which I'm like, at the end of the day, I pay my coach, right? So if y'all don't check in, the, the check still clears. <laughs> the last payment was made. So check in if you want to, don't if you don't, but I ain't going out like no sucker. So I was like, oh, I got like four days. I'll just check in on Monday. And then I realized, child, Monday is in two days. Pull it together. <laughs> Get your days together. So anyway, I'm gonna head to the gym right now, do back, shoulders, and core. And then, what is this foolery? People just be out here doing foolishness. Uh, today, my best friend David is doing a housewarming for his duplex. So I'm excited to celebrate him. And then I may go by my girl Kina's tonight because her parents are in town. And they're a whole vibe. They're the reason I'm off my diet every Thanksgiving because the food just be so good. That Watergate salad. Oh my God. I will be getting that this year in abundance. So good. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling more like myself right now. This morning I talked with my girl Elena in New York. It's so funny. We were marcoing each other, but standing there watching each other while marcoing instead of just FaceTiming. It's kind of funny, but it is what it is. Um, and we just poured into one another and I'm excited to spend more. It's like one of those people that you wish you had spent more time with when you lived in a certain place, but now I'm like trying to make up for lost time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to hanging with her more in New York. She lives in Jersey because she's smart. She lives near my parents. Stay away from all the craze. Um, and then I did my morning movement meditation. I did my the movement portion to some gospel music. Funny enough, now that I think about it, it was Kanye's gospel choir singing Week, SWV, but the gospel version. Oh, SWV, stay on my mind. They stay on my mind. Uh, and then I did meditation on headspace, cleaned up a little bit. Sometimes your space will represent what's going on up here, like what's happening out here, what's going on up here, so I had to clear that out. And I feel a good reset. My husband keeps making these really good sweet potato fries and he likes to fat me up. So I need to tell him to stop. Now I'm gonna pick up some extra greens today so we can keep things moving, which is the name of Andrea's new vlog. I mean, she came up with most of the name. She put keep moving and then I put the middle because sometimes we get in our own head. It's like, child, okay, okay, that's true. But keep it moving. <laughs> okay. That's fine. And okay. And it is. But keep it moving. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just taking it a day at a time. My coach always knows, can nobody be harder on me than me? So it's really not about, oh, I don't want my coach to say this or say that. I just want to be nice to myself when I message my coach. <laughs> so and these eyebrows are burning. I'm not gonna hold you the second time. I have a very low pain tolerance, caveat. The second time of getting these brows done was painful for me, but it's so worth it, honey, because I didn't do not a thing to these brows and they are gonna be set for the next two, three years. Yes, we switched glasses. 
the other ones are in my bag behind me. <laughs> I have another pair sitting next to me too, so you might get three pairs today. Workout was so good. Oh my gosh. The carbs were coursing through my veins. I felt so good. I felt so strong. I felt incredible. Going home to a crazy boy, I'm sure. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about my hair. It needs to be wash washed, but I literally can still feel the tingle of my eyebrows. So I think it's just gonna have to be dirty for the foreseeable few days. Um, but oh my gosh, it felt so good. Carl Winslow was there talking my head off. Don't come up to me in the middle of my set, bro. Asking me if I'm going to watch the WNBA. I told you last time I don't watch sports. And you say the same thing every time. Well, you always in the gym. What does being in the gym have anything to do with watching sports? I said, oh, he got time today. And I don't. So I just put my headphones on. I was like, all right, talk to you later. Like, I'm trying to stay focused. Thank you. But the workout felt good. Body's feeling good. I did buy some laxatives. I've actually never, fun fact, never tried a laxative before. So I'm going to take it when I get back home tonight from all the events. Just in case I need to take the morning to myself. So we'll see. Because I just want to see, like, okay, if I stay on track for the next few days, where does the body really want to land right now before I check in? So we're going to do that. Um, chatting with SWB. Still feel so bad about Shantae not feeling well. Getting the you know what is one thing, but not feeling well through it. Ugh. Don't ask me how I didn't get it. I don't know. This is like my fourth time dodging a bullet. Um, a girl in a show I was doing got it. And she was sitting right next to me having lunch. Took the test, put it in the corner, and went on about her business. I sure enough sat there and waited for that 10, 15 minutes, whatever it was then. And then I told on her. Because I was like, girl, you should have been in there checking that, not standing on the damn stage. Um, and then Adam got it during our honeymoon. Luckily, I had... First of all, we were spending too much damn money in a, in a country that was not giving what I needed it to give. Tahiti was not giving what I needed it to give. So I sent us home a day early, thank goodness, because he would have tested positive on the day we needed to leave and you needed a negative test to leave. And we'd have been stuck there for two weeks. So dodged it then. Then he got it recently, coming from Alaska. And then now Shantae got it. So it, it probably was somewhere between the gym and the airport because that's the only time we were apart. Um, what else? So, yeah, I'm feeling bad about that. Watching Andrea's video cracking me up about traveling. Um, she was like, y'all can't, I'm sure some of y'all, like, you can't travel with me. Um, yeah, be cracking up. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. I am doing the same stuff I said I was going to do earlier. <laughs> and try not to be too hard on myself. This morning, I was saying this whole rant. I need to do this. I need to do that. And I was like, I just need to do what the sheet says. And Shantae was like, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, thank you for not subscribing to my magazine issues. All right, y'all. I am getting ready for the party. I am testing out press-on nails that are, um, what do you call it? like uh oh my God, these are called. peel off peel and press versus the glue because my nails honestly I was like done with nails I was like I'm going back to growing my own nails but I realized that my nails really started growing um when I had these on so I was like shoot if I do them more often I have heard some people say that it's messed up their nails. Um, I have 
did not have that issue, but also like, I don't know what kind people are using and whatnot. So it could be this one <laughs> in which I'm screwed, but if not, it's fine. So anyway, I'm doing this kind of little seventies number. It's a skort in the back. And I think I'm gonna switch this out and do this like little brown piece that I think goes with that kind of seventies. You see the very, this is us, seventies vibe glasses. Um, my long bon shoes just for a little bit you know, a little label situation i think i'm gonna do a waist belt too because right now it's not giving so we're gonna have to give it something so we can try its best uh, but what time is it we're supposed to leave out of here in 15 minutes i did a soft beat because i can't touch my eyebrows so i didn't want to put anything on my eyes and my friend said he's going to be outside a bit but your girl will be standing by the door like a dog because I am not trying to, I can, like I said, I can still feel it on my like healing. Unlike last time, I felt like the next day I was good. I can still feel it healing, so I'm not going to screw around. Anywho, all right, I'll capture some video when I'm there, introduce you to some of my peeps. Forewarning, the home grins are out. We looking fly as hell. So don't mess with us on this road. Don't mess with us. So as I mentioned, the air is airing once again. We are on our way to my best friend David's house. The nails done. Got the show wig on in honor of all my girlies at Masters Nationals today. Bay is looking good. Got his uh, Tiger Woods situation going on. Or that black guy holding the phone in that picture that people use as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our 70s glasses on and we pretty much can't tell us anything. For all my New Yorkers, yo, you used to be able to get mad stuff and Mr. Softy for mad cheap. Not this for $10. In case I haven't already introduced David to the vlog. This is David. This is my partner in crime. We've been friends for well over 10 years, roomies, just the person I always come to when I, I, need, I need help, I need a reality check, I need your insight, um, I need him to stumble over something or trip and I need a good laugh. It never fails, it never fails, never always. So yeah, we are celebrating him in his new home, Adam's back there eating a piece of pizza. That's priceless, that's priceless. Hey y'all, what's up? Today is <laughs> Sunday the 21st. I swear this is the most like spread out planless vlog I've probably ever done. No idea when I'm going to stop. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I think I've officially lost my vibe. Maybe I'll close it out tonight and start fresh tomorrow. I did get a cute little on a uh, table uh, tripod because I find that, well, one, I hate holding my phone. Two, I'm not bringing my big ass tripod out onto these streets. And three, I definitely want to vlog when I'm in New York and like kind of hold my stick and stuff. So, Maybe that'll motivate me. I don't know. I just feel this thing in the pit of my stomach. Like, like when you have a test coming up or an audition coming up or show days getting close. Like, nothing's wrong, but I just wake up very uneasy. I wake up very worried. Or like, like I should be worrying about something. I don't feel worried. I feel like I... I need to be worrying about something, but there's nothing. So I think it may be the three weeks till I go. Cause other than that, I'm like, kind of reminds me of when I was feeling, I was, I was feeling this similarly the first time we ever dropped Pepper off to a sitter. Cause we had never not been with him every day. And I like bawled my eyes out. So I think it's a little of that is this resistance to New York is starting to overwhelm me. And that's probably, probably a bit of why I'm going off the rails 
with the food, just the stress eating and trying to comfort my feelings. And surprise, surprise, it's not working. <laughs> anyway, so today, I'm gonna hit the gym real quick. I got my days all screwed up, but whatever, we're here. We're gonna do it. And um, I'm gonna watch church and then later, my alumni association board were getting together but I just found out my president has COVID so now I have to run the whole meeting but he has all the forms so I don't know what we're about to do I just had I told him let me call you back <laughs> I don't really know what to do I may have to go to like Office Depot and print out like printable versions I don't know what we're about to do alright y'all excuse whatever's happening up here I'm not really sure Little down king action but I uh, purchased this at that supplement king place in Vancouver because I saw Shantae get it I don't know and I was like but already smelling it I'm like this is too spicy for me but I'm gonna push through watching Ashley's vlog I'm not gonna lie girl it's like watching the Titanic it's like as you were saying all the symptoms I was like oh she's got it it's got her it's getting everybody. I haven't gotten it yet, but knock on all the wood. <sighs> Let's have a real conversation. Try not to get distracted by pepper. Okay, so I've been mentioning that I've been feeling something like in the pit of my stomach. At first I thought it was the ice cream I ate yesterday or the cupcake. <laughs> Or the macaroni and cheese. But no, Pepper. I feel embarrassed. And not to anybody else, but to myself. And I think that along coming along with embarrassment is I feel shame. I feel guilt. I feel out of control. And you know, I always say embarrassment is, is about the ego, right? It's like, if you're walking down the street and you fart, nobody knows, it's like, whatever, you know? But if you're in an elevator and you fart and someone gets on, you're like, <gasps> right? Because you got found out. And I think what I've been feeling is a mix of a lot of things. I'm feeling out of control in terms of free food, getting back to old habits. Like, just because you're at an event, Aurelia, doesn't mean you need to eat what's at the event. And it was crazy because when I sat down earlier and I was thinking about the people that were there, I was like, no one else jumped up to eat when they got there, but my behind. Now granted, they haven't gone through what I've gone through the last four years, but I don't need to associate like being scared to go to events because I think I'm gonna be out of control. Uh, two, obviously going to New York. Like, I think I, it's a safety thing. Like, I just don't feel safe. I'm scared to live alone, but I don't want to live with someone else. <laughs> like, I don't want to come home to someone else, but I just want to know, you know, someone's there. Um, that'd be nice if it was my husband, but it's fine. Um, starting this musical from scratch, like new choreography. I'm like, kind of like improv versus an acting class. Like I like to come in feeling prepared. What am I working on? What I need to know? And now I'm just kind of going in blindsided. I think I've been feeling guilty because everybody's like, oh my God, you're going back to Broadway. It's so great. Oh my God, you should be, you're so grateful. Oh my God. Ah. And I'm like, yes, but also it's a job. Like Broadway is a job. Being a famous singer is still a job. And you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity, but also I can still be a little bit sad about how it's packaged. And I think that's why I've been eating like I've been eating is because I'm trying to self-soothe, but none of it's working. So, say all that to say, I've got my second meal. Tonight I'm going to an event. I'm either going to get a side order or a salad or nothing. I was even nervous about this event. I'm like, Oh my God, with the menu and I'm like, pull it together. And excuse my English, but I was talking to my friend Roberto yesterday and we were talking about priorities and we were talking about Spanish and 
these conversations I've been having lately with people about their health. And I'm like, we really need to cut the shit. Like, just cut it. Grab your best pair of scissors, you know, those really good ones, the ones you use to cut some meat, and cut it out. Like, call it what it is. And so that's what I'm doing for y'all right now. And that's part of why I've been, like, not wanting to vlog. Like, I just feel out of control and if you are type a if you are a virgo if you are an entrepreneur the last thing on your agenda that you plan for is to be out of control so i've got my church on one of the churches that i watch and i'm just gonna feed myself i need to be fed i need to remember who i am i need to remember whose i am i need to remember what i've been through i need to give myself grace I still haven't checked in. I'm embarrassed about that. I might just check in tomorrow and say, fuck it. Rip the Band-Aid off. Because I keep saying, oh, I'm going to oh, I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to check in. And it's not working. So I need to just cut it. What's up, y'all? I am on my way to the alumni dinner. I'm feeling better that feeling I've been having is starting to get less and less. I really need to start just carrying lipstick in my bag because I forget to do something right here. Oh well. I just because I always get it right here. I know the lip stain stuff helps but my lips is different. I don't know. They just be doing their own thing. Anyway, I had a great talk with my dad. My dad really, really popped off today. Normally my dad's a little bit more reserved in the advice giving and my mom's like me the big solution person just do this just do that and I expressed how I was feeling and my dad just had all the right words he just really laid it out for me and reminded me like you're not coming to New York alone like we're here we're literally over the bridge we're 15 minutes from you like you always have us we're retired we ain't doing nothing I would love to spend more time with you so you know whenever you need us that was really really helpful I also was honestly feeling a bit of anxiety about this meeting because there's been you know some challenges within the board but I'm really hoping everyone is able to turn a new leaf and we start a new term today so we have a lot of people that won't be there but I think it'll still be a good start um, and this is my first time being on a board and I'm definitely learning a lot um so yeah other than that gym was great so i ate my protein oh question for y'all anybody out there who's on that vegan plant-based mix whatever you do i want to start doing two meals a day non-animal meat so on my beef salmon moments i can do a tofu i just lose a little bit of carbs and i I have to subtract fats from, well, no, I can get the fats in. I just lose like five grams of carbs, so that's fine. Um, but on my other meals where they're not salmon or beef, uh, what do you use other than powder, I guess, to get your protein in that's not an animal based? know what y'all doing because I, I have tempeh I have tofu I have uh seitan but they all have fat or carbs so I might just be having to give up some avocado which is fine give up some of my carbs which is fine but I want to exhaust all my options first so let me know what y'all are thinking and I said that all to say I ate my tofu before I left the house and this place is Italian so all they have is pasta and pizza <laughs> and the salads so i'm gonna get a caesar salad without the cheese lord have mercy and if they can put grilled chicken on it i'll get that if not um, i'll just eat when i get home so feeling like myself slowly but surely it's been quite a roller coaster but i think we're back Okay, tomorrow we are checking in.